Hello Taurus, this is G1 Writing with G1 Insights. Thank you so much for your love. Thank you so much for your overall energy. Man, Taurus, when I say your cards are beautiful, oh my God, they are so beautiful. So very beautiful. Taurus, I am providing you this season with your career, life, and overall love energy for the month of October 2018. Happy Halloween. It's Halloween here in the States on October 31st. So happy Halloween to those of you that do celebrate. Let's get into this because this is exciting. Okay. So Taurus, I want to first start off by saying congratulations. And for some of you, I don't know. Some of you may be like, why is she congratulating us? Because some of you are in are about to receive some type of good news. Good news either about finances, a career decision, new love, a new relationship, or just simply a relationship that is growing. For a lot of you, this is for my single Taurus, okay? This is for those of you. I just see nude love here, okay? Oh, my God. I wasn't going to start out with love first, but this is absolutely amazing. Yes, yes, yes. I feel like you guys are being more receptive this season to love, to harmony, to just simply a peace of mind. You are being more open to everything that is around you. You are letting go of controlling issues. You are acknowledging the fact that what you used to do is no longer working for you. You are now moving on to something greater, something more exciting. And that is what makes it so amazing. All right, so let's get into it. I'm sorry, guys. I just keep hearing this annoying noise in my house. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to try my best to just ignore it. <laughs> this is very piercing, like it's hurting my ears. Okay. Is that what that was? A fucking fire truck? Oh my god, I've never in my life heard a fire truck that is so annoying. Okay, I'm sorry, but I was like about to get into all this good stuff and then I heard a big ass... And I was like, what the hell is that noise? <laughs> sorry, guys. I freaked out. My bad. So, let's get into it. I'm sorry. Okay. So, I would like to actually start off with your energy that you need to focus on now. Okay? So, let's do that. Let's focus on what you need to know now. Okay? So, what is going on now is that, you know, it's like you have spirit on your side completely, okay? Or, if this is not happening now, this will be happening. So, this is why I'm starting with this first, okay? Archangel Raphael will be visiting you more often this season. He, Archangel Raphael, you can notice him with the color green. The color green represents him so well. Look at that. And I feel like the overall impression here with Archangel Raphael is healing, love, prosperity, wealth. Archangel Raphael is a natural born healer. He heals us physically, mentally, emotionally, financially. He heals us. He helps us to work through any type of issues that are deeply wounding us okay this is all about a i guess just being more loving being more caring more compassionate paying attention to the beautiful things around so yes this is definitely about love because i see green hair and i also and it reminds me of the heart chakra a lot. Like, if you guys focus on the heart chakra, this is what it reminds me of. Raphael, Archangel Raphael, excuse me, represents miracles and just blessings all around us, okay? 
This can be an individual that is literally coming to save the day. This could be, you know, Archangel Raphael can come in a form of a parent, a sibling, a friend, a lover, a newfound interest, a work partner. This can also be somebody just being helpful towards you now. Or it may be an urge for you to be more helpful to other people now. Either way, this is all about your personal achievements, how you are growing, okay? So whenever our, any type of archangel come to you, this is definitely a lot of deep messages that is coming to you. And it's making you realize something about yourself, showing you a reflection of yourself. So I really love when Archangels appear in the reading the way that these do. Like Archangel Gabrielle is also here for you. So this is really, really good. Like we're talking about really profound good energy here. Doors, new doors are being opened to you. This could be financial situations, a new career decision, reuniting with a family member or hearing family issues, perhaps of a physical condition or of a broken heart. Either way, you are accepting what has happened and you're no longer allowing it to keep you down. Archangel Raphael wants to come in and to help you heal from everything that has broken you, okay? So this is good. This is really about you release, releasing all of this energy, okay? Now, I wanted to talk about something here is that, not necessarily the cards, but Venus, the planet, is going retrograde in Scorpio, which is your opposite sign. So, Taurus, this is a really good, tricky position for you because Uranus is also in your sign. So, this is breaking away from all the fear, breaking away from all the scary things in life, feeling the freedom, and allowing it to overwhelm you. Okay? Really, truly breaking free. Breaking free from what no longer serves you. Okay, Venus going retrograde, being the fact that it's your ruling planet and it's going the opposite sign. Taurus, like I said, you are in a really good position right now to make extra money, to make new friends, to meet a new lover. You are in a perfect position to grow or to reach out to the less fortunate. You are not in a position right now where you are thinking about worldly things or material possessions. You're not focused on that right now. You're more focused on just appreciating life, being more grateful, having gratitude, you know, putting out good energy. And it's a good thing because we also have a new moon in Libra happening October 9th. So Venus go retrograde around the 5th or the 6th of October, give or take a day. And then we're going to have a new moon in Libra on the 9th. So that's also going to be quite interesting for you. Because you and Libra share the same planet. So either one of you might be feeling the need to focus more on money. I think for a lot of you, that is going to be your focus. However, a lot of you are saying, you know what? I've had money. I've had big money. I have little money. But the one thing I need is love. And that is what I've been struggling with the most. And it could be love from family, friendships. Maybe you're missing someone. Maybe you just want to reconnect with someone. And that is where Archangel Raphael can come in to help you, okay? So you also have, this is what really made me laugh and tickled me because you also have the One of Roses. So this is very, very beautiful. This is all about commitment. Are you willing and ready to do the work that is required when it comes to love? A lot of people say they want marriage. A lot of people say that they want a relationship, but are you really ready and willing to do the work? This is the commitment, dear love. This is either a commitment you are making to someone or someone is making to you. This could be possibly friends taking it further, getting into a relationship. 
This could be falling back in love with someone and deciding to just start over and do it right this time. Uh, either way, this is just, I just see a lot of, lot of love. Seriously, a lot of love. Look at this one. You even got appreciation here, dear love. Look how beautiful that is. Attachment and commitment. So with attachment being here, this is definitely about, you know, breaking free from old habits, unnecessary things that don't serve you well. Hmm. And with Archangel Gabrielle here, oh, it just gets better and better. This is more about the power of expression. Archangel Gabrielle helps you to communicate your feelings. To look at this, look how beautiful this is. Archangel Gabrielle is here to help you communicate your feelings, whether wanted or unwanted, helping you to communicate more easily about what you feel with others. What do you really want in a relationship? What do you really desire? This is all about your communication, dear love. Even working on projects that may be involved in communication such as publishing, counseling, teaching, marketing, radio or television, social media, whatever it is, this is helping you to communicate what you feel more easily. So even in love, okay, you are being guided to speak your truth. And Archangel Gabriel is saying, listen, I'm here. I'm not leaving your side. I am going to walk with you, talk with you, speak through you. So you are actually, like I said, dear love, you are in a good position to just let it out. Let it out. That's it. No more. No more holding on to, you know, things that just held you back. Fear of rejection. All of those things is all going away. Now is the time for to start any type of new project. But no matter what you do, remember the power of your words, dear love. The power of your words. You have to choose this day that you want better for yourself and for others. Call on Archangel Gabriel to inspire you. Whenever you are feeling a loss for words, call on Archangel Gabriel, okay? Do not allow this moment to pass you by. Now, I do know that sometimes, you know, life can be interesting. You know, we have all of these different obstacles. We're stressing. We're crying. And it seems like nobody is there. When people don't see us committing to ourselves, why should they commit to us? When people don't see us taking good care of ourselves, why should they take care of us? When we are constantly lying to ourselves, why should they be honest with us? Seriously, think about that. This is all about commitment to yourself, to your spouse, to a new love that may deserve all of that wonderful love that you can give, Taurus. And a lot of you are so stuck on everything else. And the universe is saying, nope, nope, nope. Clean slate. Let's start over. Fresh beginning. You are starting over. You are doing something completely different from what you used to do. You are giving yourself a chance to love. And you are giving this person a chance to love you. To truly love you. To be committed. Divine commitment, dear love. Look at this. Just take a moment to just look how beautiful this is. This could even be a romantic commitment that may be coming your way. Or a new or a past love trying to re-enter your life. This could even be a new individual, dear love. I'm serious. Love is in the air for you. This could even be, you know, a business commitment or maybe somebody at work has a crush on you. This could be an offer, something that just smells or just looks so good. 
You will be offered something that you just can't resist, something you refuse to turn down. You're like, no, I got to get it. It looks amazing. They're paying me this much. It's exciting. It's out the country. I don't care. I'm packing my shit. I'm out. Okay? This is really you just embracing all that is happening right now. So this could even be creating a new business venture, okay? But this could also be signing some documents. And with Venus going retrograde, I'm not surprised that we are all getting this similar type of energy. Be cautious signing documents and contracts these days, dear love. With Venus going retrograde, it's going to be around for about six weeks. And right now, it's in Scorpio. So use that Scorpion, mysterious, skeptical energy to help you dig a little deeper before you sign that document. Okay, like I said, Scorpio is your sign. So you are being motivated to not be so worldly, not think about money too much, but just to just enjoy life, you know, to get more in tune with your emotions. Something you don't really do too well with. You're not mostly like, you're not really an emotional sign. So it's hard for you to do that. And so this is a good time for you to open up, to be more open-minded, to expand your horizon. This could even be you selling something or purchasing a house. This could be a beginning of a new business investment. Who knows? Who knows? But for a lot of you, this is all about love, okay? Either way, you know, this is really a good position for you to be in, Taurus. Like I said, with your ruling planets going retrograde in Scorpio, Things may slow down a bit. You may be wondering why love isn't working out or you may be having thoughts about finances, but it is not the money that is being stuck. It is your communication that is being blocked, your communication that is blocking you from getting what you need. Your words have power, dear love, and if you're constantly walking around being negative or saying things that can block your own energy as such. Um, for example, um, it don't seem like I'm ever going to get married. I don't think I'm just never going to get married. Like if you constantly say that, that may very well happen. So we have to be careful with our words and the way that you communicate this season, Taurus. Okay. Try not to lose sight of the greatest partnership of all. For a lot of you, you know, again, there's the word express your love. All about communication for you, especially when it comes to love. Your feelings are real, dear love, and worth exploring. Allow Archangel Raphael to help you heal, dear love, please. Allow Archangel Gabriel to help you with, the com with your communication as you heal. Vent, write a book, write a story, a journal, whatever. Just get it out because you need to let it go, okay? If you want others to put you first, you have to learn to keep that commitment to yourself as well. It cannot always be about everybody else and not about you. If you want people to put you first to honor you, you have to honor yourself. If you want people to respect you, guess what? You have to respect yourself. You must be willing to do the work. Commit. Your self-honoring choices will set the groundwork for all of your partnerships to thrive. Okay? Do not allow an emotional component to ruin it all for you. It's okay to vent your feelings. And it's okay to, you know, say what's on your mind. But how are you communicating? Are you running people away? Are you saying things you shouldn't say? Are you prejudging people before you even get to know them? Okay? Really, really open your heart, dear love. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And you have to believe that, honey. You have to believe it. Nothing happens on accident or as a coincidence. Nothing happens like that, okay? This is real. Your love, like, the way it is going right now, it is very, very real. Trust me. And it has all to do with your words. The power of your words will determine your journey when it comes to love. 
So this is interesting because I asked for career, life, and love. And a lot of your cards are talking about healing and talking about love. So it's interesting to me. It is. Now, this card here came out a lot last season for a few signs. And I think it even, I think it came out for Aquarius before. Or I think it even came out, I'm not sure. I'm trying to remember what other sign it came out for. I can't remember. Anyway, this card has come out a lot. But for you, dear love, it came out in reverse. But I just want to explain to you what this energy is really um, all about, okay? Because anytime, it's like, it's kind of like you being in the middle, just kind of looking around, having a desire to want to do something, but you're just not sure if this is what you really want to do. And, I mean, look at her. She's just like, she's here. She has all the blessings around her. But, yeah, she's still looking somewhere else. She has the right person, you know, you can have the right individual right in front of you and may not even realize because you're too busy thinking about everything else. You can have the right position for you, but you're thinking about something else. So, what is this saying to you? This may even be spiritual as well. You may have been obsessed with worldly issues before, dear love. However. <sighs> Coming out of reverse, this is about you being ready to go deeper. This is about you accepting your full potential in love, accepting your full potential in your career. This is about you going deeper. So for you, Taurus, this season is, yeah, money is cool, but what is money when you don't have love, right? Like, what is the point of having all of this money if you have no one to laugh with, to share it with? What is the point? Like, seriously, what is the point? You may have been obsessed with worldly issues, okay? You may have been constantly thinking about your career, your advancement, your job situation, getting a job in the first place, okay? You may be thinking about all those things. Many people believe that they cannot live in a material world, make lots of money, and engage in spiritual priorities at the same time. But you, Taurus, you are an earth sign, dear love. If it's anybody that knows how to thrive in the midst of chaos, it is you. Okay? Don't be afraid to go deep, my love. But even so, you still realize that this isn't necessarily true. You know how to thrive in the middle when your life is full of chaos, when you're crying and you're struggling. You still know how to put your game face on. And for that reason, people underestimate you. They think you're cold-hearted, you know, you, not only cold-hearted, but they think you just kind of could be kind of selfless. And it's not that. You just rather choose to focus on things that can help you grow rather than focus on emotions. But it doesn't mean that you're heartless. And this time, this season, you get a chance to prove that to people. I am not heartless. I do care. I can be dedicated. I can be helpful. I can have gratitude. I can focus on the good in people. I can choose to be happy and have peace. In fact, you can bring this wonderful spiritual focus to any type of situation in your life. And when you do, you'll find that beyond your garden, beyond your troubles, beyond your world, the universe is still willing to fill your life with beauty and joy. So my whole point is, dear love, expect the unexpected. But joyous synchronicity abounds. You are not ready to give up, and the universe is not done with you yet. But this is definitely all about your commitment, stepping your game up. This is about you taking your place in the world. Proving that you are not just about money and material possessions. That you do have a huge heart. That you do care. And that, in fact, it is okay to be vulnerable even right now. Okay? It is okay to say, you know what? Yeah, I'm about my money, but I do care about my family. I do care if our marriage works. I do care, you know, if we break up or if we ever get together in the first place. I just been through some stuff. So right now, even though I haven't focused on my money, I apologize. I really do want it to work. You're amazing to me. I think you're a wonderful man. I think you're smart. I really enjoy being around you. So this is about you just 
accepting people for who they are. Okay? So as I said before, with Venus going retrograde, wait until after the Libra new moon, dear love, to make any type of drastic decision. If you must, follow your heart. If you feel like you have to sign a contract, just make sure you read everything, dear love, okay? Because like I said, Venus is not necessarily, the retrograde is not like Mercury retrograde. It's not where communication is going to be horrible. This is more about communication actually being better. This is all about your social affairs, partnerships, business aspects. But for you, Taurus, this is, yes, I need my job. Yes, I need my career. Yes, I would love to take that opportunity back in China. <laughs> but my lover is here. My fiance is here. The love of my life is here. And I cannot just walk away. Yes, I love hanging with my girls, but I love my man. Okay? Yes, I love to party, but I love my foundation. I love my family. I love the children that we have together. I love the home that we have built. I love the home that we are building. I love the fact that me and we are going into business together. Oh, Taurus, please take some time to think about things before you just up and take that position in Europe, <laughs> before you think about all these beautiful fantasy things that you would like to do with all that money, think about it. Are you leaving something important behind? Okay? So, dear love, this is really deep for you, actually. This is really, really, really deep. Okay? Really, really deep. This is really important as well, guys. Really, really important. Like I said, I see a lot of different cards here talking about commitment, self-expression, communication. But this is also about releasing attachments to old patterns, okay? Old patterns or people from the past. So even with this, an ex-lover may return. An ex-lover may return, they may write you a letter, send you a text, email you, try to reach out to you on social media. They may be thinking about you, wanting to fall back in love with you. They may have had you on, your, on their mind for a while. But look at this. You don't want to go back. You're like, nope, I'm so over this. I don't give a damn what you're offering me. Some of you might be so intrigued by the offer, you just go for it. And like I said, this may not have anything to do with love. It could be a career situation. They may offer you an extra $15 an hour or an extra $10,000 a year. I mean, shit, who knows? And it, it may be a, a situation where you may have to really think about and this is what you want to do. Do I, Am I ready to move forward? And absolutely you are. So the chain at your wrist, dear love, if you look closely at this card, okay? This is bottled up fear from the past or desperation for the future. So a lot of you are saying, well, if I if I don't take this position and I and I stay here with the love of my life, I may be missing out on a huge opportunity. So dear love, it looks like you have some decisions to make. Okay. So although you may wear the mask, okay, look at that mask. You may wear this mask of pretense. Or you may be walking around like you're super excited, you're so content, nothing can faze you. Or, you know, just even being content, right? You simply can't seem to go forward. Because this is a situation that is keeping you bound. The stuff that is keeping you stuck could be something physical or financial. Like I said, it could be physical addictions, emotional patterns, or even old relationships. So once again, we're talking about love or we could be talking about finances, a career choice. Are you even living in fear, addicted to old and unhealthy habits, or so desperate about the future that you cannot be happy? You have to let that go, dear love. Stop worrying so much. This can also be about you self-sabotaging, dear love. Coming up with all these excuses of why you can't have love, okay? Give this person a chance to love you. This is also the time to take 
action you need to break out of those particular chains that is keeping you bounded, okay? Move forward with an open, free, healthy, authentically happy life. It may take some time. I never said it was going to be easy. I never said it wasn't going to be some type of challenge. But it may take some courage and effort to let go, dear love. But know that you are capable. You are capable of doing it. And you know this. You are an earth sign. You are you, Virgo, in Capricorn. You guys are some of the most grounded people that we know. So until you break free from all that is keeping you in bondage, the difficult energy will just repeat itself, keeping you stuck, keeping you depressed, keeping you worried. Something is being offered to you, dear love, and you got to make up your mind. Do I want to stay happy? Do I want to stay depressed or do I want to move forward? Do I want to be happy or do I want to stay stuck in the situation forever? Like you have some decisions to make. And again, whether this is about love or whether it is about career, it doesn't matter. You guys have some decisions to make. This is time for you to choose gratitude, dear love. Don't be so focused. You see this picture? Look closely. There's a lot of thorns and bushes and things around her. And instead of choosing to focus on all of the chaos, she's more focused on the scent of the rose. I mean, look at the picture. The sun is even coming out. It's a bright, clear day. She's not focused on her problems. She's not taking the time to get stuck and to worry. So good for you, Taurus, because this is your overall energy. As the month of October ends, dear love, we are going into a full moon in your sign. And you will be challenged with that question. Are you going or are you staying? Out of all the things that is going to happen in the month of October, this will be the most important day or the most important week. So. From the 29th of October to the 7th of November, dear love, the 29th to about the 7th of November, you have some questions that you need to answer, and you need to answer them with honesty and with truth. What is it that you really desire, dear love, okay? So, Taurus, thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope that this reading resonated with you. Man, it's a lot of love here. <laughs> a lot of love, okay? So, guys, I wanted to share my chakra bracelet with you. I actually handcraft these myself. I'm not sure if you noticed my beautiful chakra bracelets here. But I actually handcrafted them myself, okay? Um, I sometimes go live on Facebook when I make them because it's so funny to me. Like, I just, I don't know. I used to make them and then I lost my courage. And then I just started to do it again. So I just wanted to share it with you for those of you that have watched me for a while and have been kind of wondering whatever happened to my chakra bracelets. Yes, I am back creating them. So Creations by G1. Go to my website, g1insights.org. You can choose to book a tarot or archangel reading or you can choose to simply just get a chakra bracelet, okay? So I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. You have a great week wherever you are on this beautiful universe. And happy new moon. Happy Halloween. Relax during that full moon in your sign. Because this energy overall, Taurus, you are winning. Okay? So I love you. Bye-bye.